This video explains the difference between attachment and attunement. It is my goal to show that early connections and emotional nurturance forms a child's psychological blueprint for a lifetime. How children attach to their caregivers affect who they become as adults. So let us start at the beginning. At the beginning of the third trimester, your baby begins to hear. The last month of pregnancy, your baby has been listening to the rhythms of your speech. Your baby has 100 to 200 billion brain cells in place at birth. With that many brain cells in place, they can already utilize their brain power. Dr. Andrew Meltzoff, PhD, a professor of psychology at the University of Washington in Seattle, has shown that a baby can mimic behavior. Meltzoff's study in the field of imitation and his work back in the 1970s revolutionized what we know about newborns. Dr. Meltzoff held a 42-minute old baby near his face and then stuck his tongue out. The baby responded by sticking out its tongue at the doctor. Dr. Meltzoff then opened his mouth while looking at the baby, and the baby in turn opened its mouth. This was a breakthrough discovery. It showed that babies can mirror behavior at 42 minutes of age. Watch this clip of Dr. Meltzoff interacting with a newborn and draw your own conclusions. Does our environment impact who we become as adults? It is important to point out from the very beginning of life that children mirror behaviors. Raising a child is a lot like dancing. When you dance, you can have a misstep and get out of sync. This same misstep can occur when raising children and there can be a rupture in communication with your child. The good news is this rupture in communication can be repaired. How we relate or communicate with our children impacts a child's attachment to the caregiver. All of us have heard of attachment. Secure attachment is when there's a reciprocal process by which an emotional connection develops between an infant and his or her primary caregiver. This connection influences the child's physical, neurological, cognitive, and psychological development. It becomes the basis for development of basic trust and mistrust and shapes how a child will relate to the world, learn, and form relationships throughout life. On the other hand, insecure attachment can be rooted in anxiety, insecurity, or fear. The child can be unresponsive to the parent when he or she is present. The child may not be distressed upon separation. This insecure attachment affects the child's ability to trust and impairs their emotional development. Secure attachment develops through the process of attunement, a deep, genuine, reciprocal connection with another human being. I would like to pose the following question. Can you be with your children physically but not be attached to them? In today's age of technology, are we attaching to our children? We live in a world where we're continuously multitasking. We're on the phone texting, on our laptop, or using our iPad. We're sharing physical space with our children, but we're not in attunement. Attunement is the intersubjective sharing of affect. Affect is the nonverbal emotion and inaudible expressions of humans and animals. Attunement is not only being in tune with how your son is feeling and is not just matching your daughter's affect. You are smiling so I will smile back. But it is sharing the emotional experience of your child. Being attuned with your child is like an emotional dance. You need to be present. I would like all of us to stop for a moment and think about a close emotional moment you had with a parent or loved one. At that moment, did you not feel like the most important person in the world? Do you have childhood memories of your parents or caregiver getting down on the floor playing with you? Isn't that bonding moment the one that is forever cataloged in your most precious memories? Parents and or caregivers need to model behavioral skills through action by planning and making decisions early in their daily lives so they can be present when they're with their children. In this crazy techno age we live in, attuned, one-on-one, -on -one, face to face relationships are more important than ever. The positive influence and interaction of caregivers help nurture important character qualities such as the capacity to be alone, the skill to switch gears and respond flexibly to situations, and the ability to be in the present and the ability to relate to others. The infant begins laying down the roots of his or her own personal story at birth. These stories become our life story, an ever-changing collection of self-defining memories. Definitive life stories do not exist. 
were constantly rewriting the chapters. In conclusion, it is important for an infant or child to be attached to their parent or caregiver. The question to ask though, is it enough to be physically present with your child or infant? The answer to the question is no, it is not enough to just be there. Parents or caregivers must be in attunement with their children. Attunement is the sharing or alignment of internal states that often occurs automatically between mother and child. The indicators of attunement between mother and caregiver and child are continual, subtle exchanges of looks, vocalizations, body language, and speech. Attunement is not just simple imitation. Attunement renders the internal feelings and shifts the focus of attention from the behavior to the nuances of the emotion behind the behavior, the quality of that feeling being shared. We as parents have one of the most important jobs of a lifetime. We are creating our children's psychological blueprint for life. Should we not give our children the best possible start in life? It all starts in the beginning and we need to be in attunement with our children. All of us can make a huge difference in a child's life. If you're a parent, caregiver, teacher, nurse, or doctor, we can all make a difference in a child's life. Children are our future. Should we not invest in our future? The ideal relationship between a caregiver and the infant or child is secure attachment and attunement. The development of a child starts at birth and it does take a village to raise a child. Of course, this is another subject. Thank you.